Now, just as we did for Token Ring in the last video, let's take a quick, just a brief look at some of the history and a couple of things about the e about Ethernet itself. It was designed in the 70s by these two guys, Robert Medcalf and David Boggs, although Robert Medcalf gets most of the credit for it. And this is an early version of, uh, in fact, this is his first drawing. This is actually uh, right from a museum, a picture right from a museum where this is kept. I don't remember the name of the museum. Uh, and this was his first drawing of the Ethernet and what it might look like um, and uh, some of his ideas about it. The original characteristics of it, well, the media access type was contention. So the idea was we will not use polling, we will not use token ring, we're going to just use this sort of random access uh, contention. The speed of the original Ethernet was 10 megabits per second. And so remember, anytime you say Ethernet, technically you're talking about only 10 megabits per second. It used coax or twisted pair. Actually, in the early days, almost entirely coax. This is some what we call thick net. And you can see with this matchstick here showing how thick this thing was. Thin net was quite a bit thinner. This is thick net here. This is thin net down here. Uh, thick net we sometimes called 10 base 5 and uh, thin net 10 base 2. Here's 10 base T, which is twisted pair cable. And then this is uh, what the twisted pair would plug into uh, using an RJ45 jack. When we're talking about Ethernet, we're always talking about wired. Coax, twisted pair, most, uh, most typically not wireless. All right, that's it for the quick overview then of Ethernet.